Hey guys, what is up? It is William. How are you guys doing? Um, I'm not going to talk about the main video topic right now. Uh, I got a lot of other stuff I want to talk to you about. And I have no idea what, where I want to start. I'm going to turn this light on real quick. Ow. Okay, so when do I want to start? Uh, YouTube, I guess I'll start with that. Um, David and Kendrick are officially a part of like my vlogging squad. Um, I hope you guys enjoy watching them on here because like it's official they're part of my vlogging squad so you're going to see a lot more of them and more videos to come. Uh, oh, I'm back in my room so, oh, oh god, that focus though. Okay, uh, I'm back in my room uh, after what, how many weeks? Three? And I kind of put my bed over here and um, I brought the desk that was from the den. You can't really see much. Uh, the desk was like right here, but I took it and put it here. Got rid of my TV. I uh, don't really watch TV anymore. Don't really play video games like I used to. And I figured having a desk where my camera equipment stuff, um, some extra stuff like that. And uh, I now have a desk, which is pretty good. Uh, speaking of that, this is where I will be working on videos and editing and stuff like that. And lately, in like a week, I've been approached three times on photography, on like doing jobs for people, and I'm really happy about that. I feel like it's a sign for me, and like I feel like it's time to you know start actually working, working on photography. I do like do like some stuff every once in a while, but not that much. Like it's like. Ugh. Every couple months, I would get a job where I would go ahead and do something for someone and get paid for it. I guess this is back. This is near. You probably remember near back in uh, Gatlinburg for the winter adventure series thing. I wish I would have did that differently. Here's another one. Check this out. Yeah, so photography. I'm getting into that better. Uh, and I consider that a side job. Um, speaking of which, I got a new job. I am now a Tilly's member. I work at, well, I don't work there yet. I have orientation there. But, yeah, I will be working at Tilly's and I will be leaving Olive Garden soon. And I'm really happy about that. Uh, I'll make a video especially about that later probably like in a week or so and I can't wait to make that because I have a lot of stuff I want to say what else is there um I've been busy all week that's why I'm kind of like doing this video in this style um besides doing the interviews and uh helping my friend move or not move we, we emptied out of an apartment I do have footage of that like a little bit not that much and uh what else was I doing this week um, my friend's sister, which was a good friend of mine, she just left, so I just said goodbye to her today. We went to the airport. I have some photos. I put it on Instagram you can, or my Snapchat, and I'll put those on the screen, my Instagram and my Snapchat. I don't even know my Snapchat. I gotta figure that out later. And, um, yeah. So, uh... Cheese. A, B, C, D. One, two, three. Oh. Cookie Monster. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, what, 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 there was something. Okay, the, the video topic. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in one second, I promise. But, um, I'm not sure if I want to, like, just end the vlog here at my house and, like, take you guys to work with me. I know I can't actually, like, film while I'm working. But maybe if I can like sneak a little bit of footage here and there, I might do that. But uh, I probably might end up going to work early too. Because most little sisters have to be picked up from the bus stop. But okay, the video topic is about what? Five things that dancers hate. Me and Kendra came up with this list. And I don't have the list on me. It's in the living room. I have to go get that. It's on my phone. Hold on. I have to get it. Yeah. 
here we go. I'm gonna, I don't, we didn't list them, uh, but we just basically, like, just blabbered out whatever we hate, and we kind of made it to five things. Okay, so the first one is biting. Uh, that's probably one of the top three, I guess, uh, when it comes to dancers. We really hate biting. Uh, there's different, how would I say, uh, different, there's not different types of biting, but there's like, there's biting with someone's style, and then there's, you know, being inspired. There's two different things. Biting is where you see people do certain creative things, or do something, someone that, how, oh my god, this is so hard. It's like, okay, so like, let's say if I came up with a creative move that no one has really seen, uh, like, ever, and, or maybe not just that, maybe, like, my style in general, the way I move, maybe, like, I move a certain way that's just different, and people, like, kind of, like, take that and try to do it as themselves. I've seen a lot of people do it with the Les Twins, uh, like, people try to just it, be them straight up and dress the same, dance the same, like, that's... Oh, it's really something that we hate the most. Um, I used to try to dance like them all the time, or like I took some of their signature moves, but I, it's been a long time since I've done that, uh, back in like 2012. So, alright, next. Uh, this is something I've encountered a lot, mainly like when people who don't really dance want you to dance, and they use a phrase like, do the Chris Brown. Like, that's the number one I get already. Like, I understand something like get them do the Michael Jackson, but do the Chris Brown. I'm like, oh my god, it's, it just it kind of it didn't upset me, but it just it was aggy, like it was aggravating like a lot. I don't know if anyone else got that, but yeah, do the Chris Brown, do the Omarion, you know, like the celebrity singer dancers, but not like the actual dancer dancers. Like, <sighs> anyways, um. The next one on the list is overplayed music. This is something like I experience at like events. I would say like all the time, like events that I've gone to that play like the same tracks all the time. Like especially dubstep. Like I don't have anything against dubstep or animation, but like playing like the same dubstep songs over and over again, and then like not going out of their genre, the main genre. Like some dance events I've gone to had like a strict genre, mainly like E, or not EDM, but dubstep and maybe some hip hop a little bit, but oh my god, like, that that's a very annoying thing. I think Kendrick came up with that one. Um, the next one I, I know Kendrick definitely came up with was like a tech era. This could be for like uh, performances, video, uh, maybe even battles or events, uh, like, mainly it's with the music or recording like cameras like sometimes something goes wrong when I'm filming maybe my settings are messed up and I didn't do it right but we hate tech errors like all the time it just throws everything off and then when you try to get back on track it's just the the momentum is gone that you can't really move or you can't really like do whatever you were trying to like with the same like momentum that you had before like you I won't say you you're not as pumped as you were before and the last one is, uh, okay, we came up with this one together. Um, it's like practice versus reality when you're dancing. So in practice, like, it's when you're okay with goofing off, you're okay with messing up sometimes, you're okay with, you're okay with anything, basically. Uh, but in reality, when you're in front of people, like, there's something about your, your mind that just, like, tries to make you focus, but it kind of, like, doesn't make you better like when you practice I feel like you're a lot better like I feel like some of my, my best moves are like when I'm not recording or when people can't see me like that's when I feel like my, those are my best moves I don't know why I've, I've seen Kendrick uh, like him do a lot of dance stuff like even yesterday uh, like he was just playing around it was way better than when I seen him in public I don't know it's something about the mind I guess it has to be but that was the list uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed that a little bit at least like some like a small bit and what happens now is uh what time is it? it's 305 
So, I go to work at 5.30, and I don't know whether to bring you guys with me or leave you guys here. We're going to figure that out right now. Uh, how about we leave it to a quarter? So, I'm going to flip it, and we'll say, heads is I end this video here, and tails, I bring you guys with me to work and try my best to do stuff because if I edit here I'll have the video up by today if I do it if I finish it you know filming later I'll have the video up by tomorrow so let's see what was it heads here tails bring you but that doesn't count okay ready go it's tail You know what? I don't really want to bring you guys because I gotta work and I gotta. You, you get what I'm saying. I'm gonna just end the video here. Thank you for watching. Hopefully next week I will do something better. I'll make sure I take a day where like it's only for you guys and I work on a video. Maybe it's about my next job, my next job video or something. But that is it. I will see you guys next Friday. Peace. Yeah.